Hello and welcome to The Federal. My name is Shreyas. Everything that could go wrong is going wrong for Prabhas and Kriti Sanan starter Adi Pursh. The film has been slammed by audience and critics alike and its collections are dipping with each passing day. The film has even been called one of the worst Bollywood films ever to be made. However, none of this has affected Prabhas's stardom. Here's the story. Adi Pursh, starring Prabhas, Kriti Sinan and Saif Ali Khan in the lead, was one of the most anticipated films of 2023. The film, directed by Om Braut, is an adaptation of the epic Ramayana. However, the film has been mired by controversies for more reasons than one. The film, made on a budget of Rs 500 crores, received flack for its poor content, shoddy VFX and pedestrian language. Reports say it earned a meager 6 crore rupees at the box office nationwide across all languages on its second Sunday. The film is seeing a free fall and trade analysts believe it might be out of theatres soon. If that wasn't enough, the film had made it to the top 50 worst Bollywood films of all time on IMDb with Adi Push ranking 10th. On its 9th day of release, the film had a 4.5 out of 10 rating with over 90,000 votes. It's hard to digest that a film that had earned more than 400 crores at the box office within its first week of release made it to the top 10 worst Bollywood movies on IMDb. However, that's what negative reviews and controversies can do to a film. It is also interesting to note that despite the negative reviews and controversies surrounding Adi Push, its leading man Prabhas doesn't seem to have been affected much. In fact, his next film Salar, directed by Prashant Neel of KJ fame, was trending on social media while Adi Push was being trolled. This is Prabhas's third film in a row that has received a thumbs down from the audience. Bahubali turned Prabhas into a pan-India star and the second installment of the film raked in close to 2,000 crores at the box office. However, his next three films, Saho, Radesham and Adi Pursh, have been disappointing. Reports say Saho made up its production costs from its theatrical and non-theatrical revenues. However, it was reported that Prabhas returned nearly 50 crores of his remuneration to the producers of Radesham after they incurred losses worth more than 100 crores. The makers of Adi Pursh won't face the same fate though. It is reported that they had recovered nearly 80% of their production costs even before the film's release. The 400 crores that the makers made from theatrical revenue could have put them in green. So it's hard to say if Prabhas is becoming a white elephant to producers. That being said, Prabhas has a long list of films and filmmakers are eagerly waiting to work with him. He has Salar, which is again a big budget film. The actor has shot with director Maruti and then there is Project K. The latest buzz in the industry is that Tamil filmmaker Lokesh Kanagaraj has confirmed a project with Prabhas. Kanagaraj has apparently claimed that the film will be the biggest for him as well as the actor. Prabhas's critics might argue that the actor has been delivering bad films one after the other after Bahubali. But the actor's stardom is also raking in the moolah. The theatrical and non-theatrical rights of his films are bringing in good money, making up for his remuneration and the overall budget of the film. But for how long can Prabhas survive only on stardom? Can Salar with director Prashant Neel give him the much needed break? When can the audience expect a Prabhas film to be commercially successful and appreciated by the audience and critics alike? Well, only time will tell. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.